This is Ebo Ninja Mama. You are welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, you are welcome. And if you have been here before, you are also welcome. I want to check my new look. It's my new look. Yes. Like you all know, I just showed you where I bought my witcher in the last video I posted. So, the person that bought that witcher for me also did something amazing for me that gladdens my heart so much. Like you all know, last year before I came out to ask for help, I was passing through a lot in a, in my place here where there is flood because every was flooded last year so because of that the a lot of the landlord in the area as i think i said this in my video a lot of times a lot of landlord in the area they decided to fence all their compound including the one i'm living in they fence it after this uh, particular place i will show you people the fence uh -huh, and the reason why i want to leave so decided to fence it so because of that i went house hunting because a miracle was performed in my life miracle happened in my life the woman that helped me bought the witcher gave me half of the money i'm using to go and look for a new apartment so in this video you are going to be watching how we went house hunting and why I will be showing you the house with different houses we went to. I'm still going to tell you the reasons why I did not collect some of the houses that we saw. I will tell you a story time in that video while watching the the house we went we, uh, the houses. There. I will tell you a story. So please just stick to this channel and watch. And please don't forget to help me tell that mommy. That changed my story. That gave me half of the money I'm using to look for a new apartment. May God bless her. May God bless her more abundantly. She will never lack. All the people that contributed to this amazing thing that is about to happen in my life. May God bless you. Everyone. The beauties. Everybody. Both that, that, that are not the beauties that contributed, I will never forget to. In short, eh, when I do miracle for my life, it shock me. When I change my life, may God bless all of you all. Thank to everyone that contributed to the change that is about to happen in my life. So stick around and watch the video. And I want to, to tell you the reason why I am packing. So continue watching. I know some of you may ask, why is Ebo Niger Mama packing now? Yes. If you look at this compound I'm showing you very well, it's the compound I'm living. And this is the copper erosion, a big flood carried last year. Uh -huh, that I video on YouTube and seek for help to pack away from this place. But we could not get the full money. That was why I did not pack last year. So this year now, the whole of the uh, houses here, people decide to fence all their compound round because they are afraid of what happened last year, not to repeat itself this day. Because because of the flood last year, water entered their house and a lot of people even vacate their old building. So because of that, a lot of them have fenced their house. This is the same thing my landlord did. He fenced the whole compound very high. And if you look at this very side I'm showing you now, this is where my customers normally come from to come and buy from me. But he fence it and he block it. So I no longer have customers coming to buy from me. So my market is stuck. That is why I decided to park away from the compound because nobody's coming anymore to buy from me. In the other side where the gate is, there are stores there. So people that are coming, nobody's coming from that side. So that is why I decided to Park. Yes, this is the first house we went to. In this house, you should pay attention to the 
the, the I mean the the ground, everything. There is the floor, the kitchen, everywhere. If you look this as a is very, very, very dirty. And most landlords there, they will tell you that when you pay money for the house, you pay kosher fee, lawyer fee, agreement, drink, so many things they will mention. That if you finish paying the money, they will repair the house or they will put the house in order. But you will see that after uh, paying the money, they will just do one or two. They will abandon the remaining one for you. They will tell you they will not do it. And meanwhile, they have already collected money. So one of those things, eh, it make me fed up of this ass. But that is by the way. The main, main thing that really make me not to collect this ass is this. I will tell you people's story. I will tell you people's story here now because of the experience I've had staying in a house where there is landlord. Because it's very as the landlord is inside the compound. Not only that, like people know, I sell provision in my veranda. And getting to this compound, the landlord's wife is selling provision in a veranda. The tenant, because this has con uh, contain three flats, a three-bedroom flat, a two-bedroom, and a one-bedroom flat. The landlord is living in the uh, three-bedroom. And this very one I'm showing you people now. See, look at just take a look at the toilet. Take a look at the toilet. It's dirty. Very dirty. A lot of work needs to be done here. So let me continue my word. So the this uh, two bedroom flat is what I'm going for here. Then the other one bedroom flat, the tenant there also is selling provision. How am I going to sell provision in my own? When landlord and or the other tenant is already selling. And you guys know that I'm always at home alone selling because look at this kitchen. Just take a look at this kitchen. Hey! And what? I'm always alone selling by myself because my children do go to school. So when I will sit in my veranda, I'll be selling. Anybody that come, they will collect the things by themselves. The one my heart cannot reach. Meanwhile, now the landlord wife will be sitting in a, he will be sitting there selling by herself. The other thing I will be selling there. Oh, when I call to me to come and buy from me when it, when it is that I cannot get up and sell. They will be looking that mm, the time will be wasting. And moreover, how can I compete with landlord wife? Hey, I don't get that strength too. That is number one. Then number two, again, the thing that make me to reject this ass. The most important thing that make me to reject this ass is this. Look, you should see the grant. What, what will I do here? Mm. The experience I had in the ass I packed from before I, this place now where I am now. If I tell you about the story, you put you pity me. When I packed to that ass, I discovered that inside the water system, that is the water, the, the WC inside the toilet, there was no single water inside the sink. The WC, so no single water. You no, know, normally in the toilet. There is supposed to be water inside the WC. But everything was dried. That thing was giving me concern. I said, ah, why is this thing dry like this? I just look away that maybe it's because it has been long that the house has been vacant. So I didn't know that that thing there is a big problem. So when we got to the comp after about uh, uh, three weeks, we discovered that if we flush toilet, if we throw water in the toilet, everything that is this, I will pour out of the toilet. Anytime we finish bathing, water will flow everywhere. The water will not flow through that hole they put the uh, that water supposed to flow to the soccer way. Anytime we finish bathing, my children will get to go and collect bucket. They will not be belly water from the floor and go and throw away outside. Not be so much suffer those children suffer for that toilet. They will be belly water to go and throw away anytime we bathe. Then in the toilet, we stop using it because anytime we use it, every year we messed up. And in that area, there is no bush, nothing. Everywhere is filled with, filled with houses. So there is no way that somebody will say, okay, let's go to the bush to go and do it, number two. No way. At that time, my children, they were still small. So anytime we go to the toilet, we have to use cellophane paper bag to do it, number two. If my husband is not at home, we'll keep it. 
Tin. When my husband will come back in the night before we now go and throw it away. I'm sorry I'm saying this here. I know it will be disgusting to a lot of people. But I'm just trying to share my experience so you to know what I went through there. So that's how we continue for a year and six months. We could not flush the lead, nothing. When, we, when that first started happening, we told the landlord that, see, oh, look at what we are passing through. The landlord said that we should go and, uh, we should go and take care of it by ourselves. That uh, he did not have money to do it. And meanwhile, there is no way you will carry that landlord to any, you will go and report it to anywhere. Because he's a chief in that community. If I mention the place I'm talking about, and people will know how those people there, they behave, but I don't want to make sure it. He's a chief in the community. You cannot make trouble with him. You cannot do anything with him. And it's not when you have money that you go and make trouble with a landlord in the house. Even if you carry him into the town, all the people there, there is a uh, chief partners. They will just wipe the case away. There is something you can do. Instead, you are you the one that carry him there. You are the one that will be spending. So instead of that, we remain there and we don't have money to park to another place. That is how we suffer there. Oh, even water. The landlord did not bring pump water for us. In the company, we have two water tanks. One for tenant, one for the landlord. When we get to the company, after the first day, the second day, the landlord came to us that uh, the way he normally do it, that we'll be paying money for fuel. Then we'll be using jet to pump water for us that the light is not constant there. When I say, okay, no problem. So after the landlord left, I now know that one of the tenants there was looking at the landlord when he was telling us that word. So the woman I just came to me inside, cold deadly. She told me, and I said, please, oh, I know I don't know you from here anywhere. You just back to this place, but I just want to tell you because of your condition, I see. I will not want anybody to stress you. Please, that money the landlord is telling you to be paying for fuel, to pump water, don't pay it too. Because if you start paying that money now, Tomorrow, any time at all, the landlord will be telling you that the, this is the second house we went to. The landlord will tell you to come and be buying fuel. So, any time the generator's fuel, it will be coming to meet you every time. And you must pay. There is nothing you will do about it. It will force you to do it. If you don't do it, it will give you quick notice. Or it will report you to the town hall and they will find you. So, we will not grip that money. Because of that, this landlord refused to give us water. It was one woman that is opposite me that used to call my children and she will also help us to fetch water. Anytime my children are not at home, if they bring light, this woman will help me to fetch water. And even when they bring the light in the compa, the landlord will pop his own tank and leave our own. It will not repump it. Everybody there was suffering for water. There is nothing you can do about it because it's a chief in the community. That is why I vow that any house that landlord is staying, I will never leave it in my life. So there is no way I will collect that house. In this second house now that you see, yeah, this, that is my friend. And that man you are seeing there is my husband. They went to this second house. If you see the price they are calling for this house, eh, heh, you will run. And this house was built over 20 years ago. If you look the wall very well, you will see that everywhere has the wall of tear. And that kind of place, I don't even know whether one day the house will fall on my enemy, not me. Huh. Look at the toilet. Very dirty. And they are calling at just price because they say that the house is close to Thai Road. See the toilet. Is that where somebody will live in? The money here, they call is very, very big. So I say, no, we cannot afford it. And even if, even if and the land is not even living in the in Nigeria, they say it's a side country. So even if I pay the money, there is no way I will go and hold the, the caretaker to come and do the house for me. Nobody will do it. So this is the second he taught us that we went to. So in my next video, I will be showing you the ads we finally collect. Because mm -hmm, getting us in data state now is like, a, I don't know what to say. Ads is very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. I don't know the reason why some say because of materials. Why some say it's because of all these boys that are pressing computer. So any amount they call for that, they always pay. So they are using it now. Because of that, you cannot get as cheap again. So that is it. So this ass is a little bit better. It's better. That is the caretaker. That is the agent that carries us to the ass. That woman you are seeing there is the agent that took us here. Yeah? So the thing gets us in view. That is my experience with uh, Lalo, though. 
ah, I've decided I will not stay in the house where there is landlord. Because when they will do you, they don't have conscience. Even the landlord, why the day I beg her that he should please allow us to use the pumping machine. If you see the word that woman tell me that he, he said, let me should go and own it now. If I can go and own it. I cry my life that day because the woman I not get conscience. So that is a mother with many, many girls that have many children. That is I beg, I beg. It's only God. It's only God. But I thank God we finally got one. And it's a house I really love. I like the house very, very much. I will be showing you guys in this video. No, not this video. The next video I will upload. I will show you because we did some maintenance in the house too. I will show you the before and after the maintenance of the house. I'm so, so happy I finally got a place. Because my current place now, I cannot stay there again because it's fence. Nobody's coming to buy from me anymore. And even the rainy season now, it's already turning on the place. Because all the land are there, they just fence the house. They did not even bother to think about the road, what they would do to the road. So everywhere is still messed up. But I thank God I finally leave this place place i'm so so happy i thank all the people that contributed to my life that make this possible for me because who am i i get money to say i want to go look for us people here on youtube that help me that take me from grass to grace i'm so happy i thank you all may god continue to bless you all mostly the mommy that gave me almost half of the money i used in taking the house that I currently pack to. God will bless her. God will bless her more abundantly. Watch out in my next video.